I think they're weak, insipid, and they will be very difficult to use. I can feel, I can feel uh, people who don't comply with normal standards shaking at their boots at getting a £60 fixed penalty notice or even a £120 fine, where, of course, there'll be means tested at times to pay. They're ludicrous. It's ridiculous. When you actually look at what we want to do, we want people to get off the streets and stay indoors, or we're going to lose maybe tens of thousands of people. That's the reality. This is very serious. People are going to die. We cannot, we cannot, with a depleted police force who are going sick, got childcare issues themselves, self-isolating, possibly enforce this stuff in a normal way. I'll be quite blunt about it. You need to be able to take instant on-the-spot sanctions on the street with people because the police cannot afford... To like involved. what? Well, let me just explain before we go further. The police cannot afford to get involved in rolling around and fighting with people who then infect them. Then they take them to the police station where they then contaminate the police station, contaminate the cells, contaminate all the other prisoners. So I'm moved by, by what I'm seeing at the moment, for example, in India where the police are literally anyone on the street beating them with long sticks. Now, I'm, I, this may sound absurd, but my experience of dealing with the street where at the moment in London you can't even properly police many of the estates without actually going in and huge numbers are being chased off. The reality of this is it cannot be enforced with the kind of standards that some people live with. So what am I saying? Like what? I think we're talking about warning people potentially issuing them a fine if they don't comply because you don't want to touch them taser them on the spot if they still don't comply fire baton rounds at them if they still what? don't comply if they still don't comply ian fire something else at them that make, makes them comply permanently because we're talking about thousands of people dying this isn't a joke anymore People yes, but you're, you're 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 talking about effectively imposing martial law and and allowing that. I mean, the police don't have powers to do the sort of thing that you're suggesting. I'm I'm slightly appalled that as a former police and crime commissioner, you're even suggesting that kind of thing. Well, you tell me how you're going to stop tens of thousands of people dying then from transmission. Well, it's not up to me to tell you how that the, they can. They can, but I don't I don't think firing baton rounds is actually going to help prevent people dying, is it? In fact, it's going to make more people die. How, how are you how are you going to get people who don't want to comply to comply then? Well, well, let, let's see how this works first. If further measures are needed, fine. But to, to just sort of decry it outright and say, well, it can't work, when we already know that people are being stopped and, and I think people are being encouraged to change their behaviour, it seems a bit early to uh, be suggesting yeah. that kind of yeah, uh, response. Will you, will, you will comply, I will comply, because we're responsible people. But there is a substantial number of people in this country who think it's perfectly all right to stab people and rob them on the street. They're not worried about a £60 fine. We need 